The high temperature in Phoenix today will be at most 110.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Let H equal the high temperature in Phoenix today in degrees Fahrenheit. Write an inequality to represent this scenario. Because the temperature is at most 110.9 degrees, it could be exactly 110.9 degrees or less, which means the inequality is H less than or equal to 110.9. If we wanted to graph this on the number line, we would locate 110.9, let's say it's approximately here. And because the temperature could be exactly 110.9 degrees, we make a closed point on 110.9, indicating this value is part of the solution, and then an arrow to the left where the values are less than 110.9. Is the inequality true or false for the boundary value H equals 110.9? Because of the equal part of the inequality, 110.9 does make the inequality true. Again, this is true because 110.9 is less than or equal to 110.9. Enter any value of H that will make the inequality true. The inequality is true for any value of H that is less than or equal to 110.9, so let's just say 105. The inequality is true for 105 because 105 is less than or equal to 110.9. Enter any value of h that will make the inequality false. The inequality is false when h is not less than or equal to 110.9, which means h would be greater than 110.9. For example, 111, 112, and so on. Let's just say 115. The inequality is false for 115 because 115 is not less than or equal to 110.9. In the next example, Abel completed more than 14 problems in his math assignment. Let P equal the number of problems Abel completed in his math assignment. Write an inequality for this scenario. Because he completed more than 14 problems in his math assignment, the inequality is P greater than 14. To graph this inequality, we locate 14, let's just say it's here, and then because P is greater than 14 and it can't equal 14, we make an open point on 14. And then because it's greater than 14, we draw an arrow to the right. Is the inequality true or false for the boundary value of P equals 14? In this case, P equals 14 makes inequality false because 14 is not greater than 14. And there any value of P that will make the inequality true, the inequality is true for any value of P that's greater than 14, for example, 15, 16, 17, and so on. Let's just say 15. 15 makes the inequality true because 15 is greater than 14. And then finally, enter any value of P that will make the inequality false. The inequality is false when P is not greater than 14, which means P would need to be less than or equal to 14. Let's just say 13. The inequality is false when P is 13 because 13 is not greater than 14. I hope you found this helpful.